Hey everyone, welcome back to Satisfactory, another void here, season two, episode six, and my intro is a little weird because I keep having to mess with my microphone. I don't know why, but Audacity keeps adjusting its it, it, uh, itself. It makes itself louder, and I have to keep turning it. It's weird. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, as you can see, I am um, analyzing the hard drives right now. I went out actually two episodes ago, actually in between episodes. I, no, I think I already told you this, but if I didn't, I went and got a whole bunch of other hard drives over here. There's actually a brand new one right here that's two uh, eight, uh, oscillators and 20 megawatts. I grabbed that one too. Uh, and so I've been analyzing hard drives. I also grabbed the one that's over here because we're gonna be doing quick wire today. Uh, and so I grabbed it because it was there. So it was easy. It was like four frames or something like that. It's also a new drive. So what I really wanna get is right now is I wanna get pure iron ingot, I think, or pure steel ingot, I think it's called, where you just put iron ingots into the foundry and get seal ingots. I don't want to have to mess with sending ore over to the foundry. And I think you get more ingots out of it anyway, so it's I think it's a great thing. So anyway, I'll be analyzing hard drives off the, off camera here or while we're playing. You can see I got pure caterium ingot, steel rotor, no screws, great. I think I might have already talked about these, I might not have. Steeled frame, I'm not sure I really want that, although it would be good to send only steel pipes and just get a bunch of work done with steel pipes. A lot of these alternate recipes use steel pipes. Pure caterium ingot, uh, I'm sorry, it was pure... wait, pure... I think it was pure copper ingot. Anyway, I'm gonna wipe it out anyway, but I think I have two of the pure ingot ones now. I'm really just waiting for pure iron. Eventually I want to set up a pure ingot alternate recipe uh, smeltery because you, you, you do ore doubling with that. That'd be awesome, okay? Fused wire, which is um, copper and caterium together, makes a bunch of wire, basically. So let's erase those. I've told you about them now. Um, and then the first thing we're gonna do today on the to-do to -do list as you can see, it's overclocked the, the concrete build. I was going to add another line in there to get more concrete. I know when I start building the train line, I'm just going to be eating concrete like it's going out of style. So um, I want to prepare for that. And the way I'm going to do that, um, actually what I could also do is really expand this. So why don't we do that? Let's get this box put back in, but with an industrial size box. So I'm actually going to need two of these. Wait, why don't I just do this? I'm gonna just do this and go industrial size. I can't? I don't have industrial containers? Okay, well, I, I guess can't do that yet then. It is what it is. It's gonna have to is bees what it bees. Now, I'm gonna expand this guy by one. The whole system, it doesn't work this time for some reason. Why is that not working? It's not doubling the whole thing. That's really weird. Huh, okay, well, I guess we'll just build it by hand. Wait, is that? That might be wrong. Yeah, it's backward. There we go. I don't know why. Oh, well, built that. That's good. But for some reason, it's not auto building. That's Mark II belt? Okay, well, let's use Mark II. That's fine, too. Yeah, it didn't auto build this time. Last time, Smart auto built. I think there's some weird bugs or something with Smart, because sometimes it auto builds and sometimes it does not. That's backward. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't work. But anyway, it should copy. It didn't copy this either. Maybe that's maybe that's a different mod doing that. All right, so now we, we want 180 per minute, right? Because these are 45 per minute. We want 180 per minute. Now, we're not going to be able to do that, actually. We're going to need Mark III belts to be able to do that. Right now, we can only do 120, which we're already getting. So that was pointless. That was a pointless expansion. Hmm... Overclocking won't matter. Hmm. Too bad I couldn't put it straight into a splitter and split it out on the two belts. But you can't do that. So anyway, well, I did that. I, I, I can't overclock it, so let's just get that off the list. It's pointless. Um, I'm not going to hook that machine up, because if I hook that machine up, then it's going to cost power, for, and I'm not going to get anything out of it. So we'll do that later. We need Mark III belts for that. Um, so do I want to actually... Do I want to bring in another line? Is there one close by? I don't think there is. I mean, there's one across the way. It's not really close, and it's underneath the coal area. I can go up there and draw this down. I don't know if that'd be valuable. Well, it's going to take a while. Let me... I guess we can go do it. Let me let me go draw this down. I'll be right back. I'm going to go connect to that and draw it down. Okay, I uh, have pulled this thing down, and you can see it's kind of a jank build. Again, lots of jank stuff going on for now. I think that's totally fine. I don't really mind. 
Um, the one thing I do need to do, though, I think, is change this to a Mark II, because I think it's Mark I. There we go. It looked a little slow. Yeah. Everything else is Mark II. Now, when I do this, it copies the whole build. I don't know why that's happening. This is going to be backward now, because I'm actually going to switch this one out. And I'm going to feed... This should be actually a merger. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to feed this belt going the other way. So let's get a merger in here, actually. So it can collect the extra and hopefully make an extra belt. Merger, okay, it's going... Yep, that's what I want. So this is going to do 45, 90, right? And that's going to leave... What? Oh, no, wait, that's 30 left over? Right, just leaves 30 left over. And then this guy's going to get 30, and that'll be 60. So this, is going to be, this guy's going to be fully operational battle station here. So we should be able to actually get five dudes on this build. That's going to be awesome. So what I'm going to do is let's, let's grab this guy and bring him over to power these two guys. Right? And so they can get going once they're loaded, at least. They should both be on concrete already. Nice. Except... The difference here is this is probably going to feed into right there. So these are actually backward. So let's we got to reset all these, which it's fine. It's not that big of a deal actually. But because it copied it, we got we got to change it. So let's change it to splitter. Yep, it's coming in the back like that. Now this one's going to be coming in this side, right? Like that. We want Mark II belts. I don't know if this is a Mark One or not. It's a Mark II. That's actually good. Okay. So I'm going to move it into here, and then we're going to move it down this way, and then finally we're going to move it to this guy who's going to merge. Oops, no, not around. I mean, you can, but I'd rather have it look... Why do you keep doing that? It's so odd. Put it in the closest one. There you go. <laughs> All right, now let's get this guy that's coming down to feed. Let's get him down to here. There we go. Cool, now we have a bunch of concrete coming in. Now, we're going to make sure that we get plenty of concrete. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Sweet. Okay, so that has been expanded. Expanded, right? Even though it did a lot of extra, and I don't even know how much camera time that took. I'll say 10 minutes. Okay, now we can do a smart splitter. we got to get all this, like, beginning, this uh, tricky stuff out of the way as far as unlocking stuff, getting our... Um, support stuff ready to rock. Let's also pick up tickets. That's not really on my list, but I have been sinking a lot of stuff. You can see I have a double garbage can now because I've just been dropping not really trash in there, just extra stuff so I can get these tickets because um, I really need extra, you know, these extra build materials here. These extra ways of building. Let's sink that so that I can make nice buildings right off the bat and not have to go back to an, and update them. Let's... <laughs> Let's process these the uh, the spoils of war here. Uh, wh where'd they go? There they went. All right, let's also check out the man. The man picked up something while we're gone. Pure ironing it there. Now all the pure ones are done. That's awesome. Now I, I just want to get that, and I can't see with the mini map on, so let's turn it off. Oops. With the hotkey there. Hard drive, let's keep going. Boom, okay. Um, let's go spend our tickets. That's what we wanted to do. Now I can pick up a whole bunch of stuff that's just integral to to building, right? Um, like, clean pipe would be nice, but we don't need it yet. We don't need it. The double ramp, getting closer to... Yeah, we're going to need this because we're going to need it for trains, possibly. So let's just get that just in case, okay? Let's just get it right now. Um, half foundation set would also be good, but it's not as necessary because I'm micromanager, so we'll leave it. We also really gonna need doors and conveyor walls. That's like really kind of need that. We're up to ten, so we should just get this. Well, double ramps not as needed, so let's keep looking. It's not necessary, and in fact, concrete pillars probably more necessary in modern railing. Let's do that. Let's get rid of double ramp. We'll get concrete pillar and modern railing. And we'll buy those. There we go. That's a bunch of stuff that we use all the time. All right, cool. Now let's get to Smart Splitter. So what I did off camera, a couple things I've been I've been doing, actually I did. I've been messing around with trains a little bit just to kind of get used to how they work. 
and uh, really how my train system is going to operate. So that's what I've been doing over here. I'm going to rip this out. This is going to be where the smeltery is anyway. It's really just I wanted to see what they look like. I want to see how big they are, get start, get the feel of them. It's one, two, three, four, five wide, give or take. Um, my trains are going to be five wide. My train track foundations are going to be five wide. Um, so if we look at the map, getting back to Caterium, if we look at the map here, there's a great node that's right here. And I've already set up a bunch of ramps and stuff to get us over there to start mining it. Uh, and we're already going to be mining a whole bunch of stuff over here, a bunch of pier nodes, which you saw in episode one. But that's what we're going to be bringing in with the train. So this is the best node to go after because we're already going to have the train foundation set up over here. It also is great because it's right next to a, um, at least one hard drive. You can see it right there. That actually needs one quick wire, so this is going to be perfect. We're going to set up quick wire. We're going to get the MAM stuff done. Actually, we're going to have to wait for the MAM, but that's okay. It's going to take a while for us to get the required um, Ethereum anyway, or the quick wire. So during that time, the MAM can do the research. I've already picked up all this stuff. It's just I don't have the one quick wire. So uh, does it need any power? No, it just needs literally quick wire. So I think I'm going to use these like metallic foundations of, as I'm going through the world. They kind of look neat. They kind of don't look so factory oriented. They just look like a building a bridge, like a bridge work or something like that. It's kind of neat. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring it over here and set up like a little build right here. Uh, we can probably smelt on this island and then bring it over here and bring the ingots up. And, and like craft them over there. That's what we're gonna do. And then eventually I'm gonna rip this all out again. I'm just doing this to get quick wire. I'm just doing this to get a setup. So who really cares? Um, we are gonna need a. Uh, we're gonna need to make a miner one, right? So we need a portable miner, which I think I have an extra one, but I never use it. Um, and I have a bunch. You know what? Well, I'll deal with that later. I have a bunch of um, limestone in my inventory, but I'll deal with it later. We're gonna do it like this. And then we're going to do it like this. Okay, we're going to flip that guy around. Then we're going to go back up on our ramp. So let's get these two guys hooked up here with power. Already got a little power out here too. That'll get him going. And then we can um, belt this in. I think this is a pure node, so let's just... Well, it won't matter because this guy's only going to be doing 30 per minute, right? 45 per minute. Okay. Still, that's just mark one belt. We'll just use that for now. We don't have unlimited reinforced plate right now. This guy's doing 120, so that's really cool. Um, should I just... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to split this. We're going to split this into a bigger build. Because I'm only getting 15 per minute, and I don't want to wait that long. So let's get this guy back here. But we, we want to turn him like this to give us more space for two smelters. This is only going to give us 30 per minute. Which I guess is fine. That's like the normal amount you'd get out of one smelter, right? So let's put two of them. And then we're going to do a splitter, if I can find it. No, really, where is the splitter? Should be close. We're close. Okay, six. And we're going to do it like that. Like that funky build we like. I like so much, at least. And now we're going to need Mark II belts for sure. And he's not hooked up to power anymore. None of these guys are. Let's get him hooked up. So they can start working immediately. And we don't have to wait as long. Now, I'll be doing the waiting off camera. I'm not going to make you guys wait um, to watch these things smelt up and all that. That'd be just ridiculous. But I am going to... You can watch me build it, at least. All right, let's get that in there. And then we want this in there. All right, feeding us the Caterium, baby. That's basically gold. I don't know why they don't call it gold. Maybe it's not really gold when it comes out. Maybe it's something else. I have no clue. All right, we're getting ingots. We need a bunch of those ingots. Because we're going to have to merge them again. Because we want to unlock stuff. So we're going to do just tier one belts because this is only 15 per minute. But then we're going to do still tier 1 belts, I guess. Because we're only doing 30 per minute now. Let's bring it up the ramp here. We're going to collect it and then for a little while. And then we're just going to stop collecting. And we're going to um, put it in, in a constructor and not need to collect it any longer. Uh, yeah, let's do it on this side. 
And then we'll just bring it down into a box. Let's put the box down first. Let's get a box like right here. Actually, let's get a box over here. Right? It's going to be a little bit cro crooked. Kind of. It won't actually connect. Is it backward? I think it's backward. Yeah, it's backward. Okay, so let's get that box in there. We don't have ingots coming in, so it's not like we're missing anything. Are they going to get here someday? Okay, they're here they come. And see, they're not filling the belt up, so... Mark 1 belt is just fine. Alright, so the ingots are coming in. Now, let's just pre-build the, the wire setup here. Where's my builder thing? Here it is. We want a constructor... We want to construct additional pylons here. Uh, we're going to make them side by side into a box, correct? Eventually, it's going to come right off the belt. Uh, those are, it's so hard to build when you're like this. Let's try to get up here or something. All right, so there's the box. Then we can put two dudes here. Like one right next to another, right? And this guy is going to be Caterium Wire, which apparently doesn't exist. Where is it? Oh, I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, well, let's get the MAM down then. Since we're going to be MAMing it here pretty soon. I think the MAM is ready. Where is it? Where are you, MAM? <laughs> I know I got a MAM. Oh, there it is, number six. Okay, let's build it uh, over here. Cool. It's still working on the hard drive. I'll be right back when this is done. We can actually pick something, and then we'll get going with the Katerian research. It's kind of hilarious, because right when I got done actually cutting the video and doing all the Audacity things I have to do, um, the research popped up. So, <laughs> kind of a little bit pointless. Maybe maybe just fine. I don't know. Um, we've got three things I don't care about. So, I'm going to go with, I don't know, iron wire. That's that's okay. It's junk. we got to get rid of those junk ones anyway. Because as we unlock other tiers, we don't have to go through all the junk things again and... and spend 29 hard drives and wait, wait, wait for the recipes we want. We want to get rid of all the junk stuff and just get to the good stuff. So, okay, we can go to Caterium now. Um, we just need 50 ingots, so let's go get those real fast. We should have 50 now because I had to wait a little bit for... Um, yeah, there we go. We have tons. Let's just actually get exactly 50 so we can get to Quickwire, and then we can actually select it and get that going. All right, cool. Boom. That's going to get us this unlock, I'm, I'm pretty sure, at least. Yeah, which is just get... You need 100 quick wires, what it's saying. Um, I think I want baby... Basically, baby. Basically, just all quick wire with these. I'm not sure how many it needs per minute, but I think we might only need one machine. It's 12 per minute, and we're getting 30 per minute. So, yeah, we can totally... We can totally do two of these. Totally. <laughs> So we're gonna... I don't know. This is gonna be funky. Why don't we pick this box up? Because that box is not gonna work now. Uh, we don't even need that box anymore. All we need is a splitter. We don't need ingots anymore. So let's do something like this, right? Like we've done in the past. That works pretty well. Let's put it kind of in the middle. And then we'll get this guy into the back. And this guy into the... Right here, right? Into this part. Boom! Now, we will need a box. And sometimes I wish these boxes were a little bit smaller, but, you know, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to need a merger, too. Ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to merge. Aren't these coming out of the 100? Oh, 60 per minute. Yeah, we can merge. Let's merge. The box is too close. Let's merge with it coming out this way. This should work even though it says it's clipping. It's really not clipping. Then we're going to put it into a box. And the box can hang off the edge. I don't really... I don't mind. It doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. It won't fit. Well, that's great. Fine. It can hang off even more. <laughs> Alright, we're going to need Mark II, though, because this is... It still doesn't want to fit. Okay, let's jump up on here, then. Let's just... Let's just jump up on here. Uh close, but no. Okay, cool. And let's build that container. Okay, it's right in there now. It's right in... Why it can't go here, huh? Floor is too steep. Foundation? Uh... Foundation? Fine, we'll just... really don't want that, though. I want, um... 
I really want this foundation because we're out in the middle of nowhere, right? So why don't I do this? We'll put the box right there. And then everything will be good to go, right? Just put the box literally right there. There we go. And it gives us more space anyway. Boom. Okay. Um, we only need Mark 1 for this. Of course it won't fit. But now we have more room. Let's just move it again. That's one of the things... I don't know, man. This is, well, also why you should use um, foundation, but... But I'm just trying to do a quick build out in the world. I'm not, I'm not trying to do rocket science here. Sci rocket Scientology or anything. We gotta turn this. We're gonna have to do the trick movement thing. But I don't know how we're gonna do that since it's... I guess it is kind of going that way. Maybe we can get away with it. No. What is... This is bug it. This is annoying. This is really... It gets on your nerves after a little bit. Just get in there. I don't even care if it looks stupid. Just do it. <laughs> just just give me the wire. <laughs> just give me what I want. I don't care if it looks pretty. It's, it'll look pretty later, okay? <laughs> Jeez, dudes. No, it must look beautiful. Fine, fine, you vain one. They should call this Satis Vainery or something. All right, cool. We got Caterium. <laughs> Freaking do it. Everybody's waiting. Everybody is waiting. Everybody's been kung fu fighting. Actually, no. They've been just waiting for Caterium. Literally. All right, I'll be back when those are done, okay? All right, we've almost got 100 here, and bam. I really don't want any more than 100 because I have no use for these right now. All right, let's keep going down this line here. This should open up, I think, AI Limiter, and then we can get that done. Yeah, here we go. We need to go to AI Limiter, and then we can get Smart Splitter right there. So AI Limiter is 200 more of these. Oh, joy. Um, it's fine. It's just I'm, I'm on camera. I don't want you guys to wait, you know, so I'll be back yet again, but let's get this done. And we've just about got 200. We're good, we're good. All right, here we go. Let's finish that piece. That should allow us to create AI limiters, which we're going to do by hand to get the next unlock. And then we're going to make about 10 of them because they are needed for smart splitters. So we're going to need 10 of those. We don't have enough reinforced. Oh, we don't have enough of those. But I think, well, we need Caterium wire, I think, to make those, right? To make, um, well, how would we know that? Well, I think we can probably throw down one of these dudes and we can see what is needed for AI limiters. I'm pretty sure we're going to need uh, quick wire for that. There it is. Yeah, we're going to need quick wire. So we need, what, 10 of those? Is that correct? 10? We need, um... 10, so that means we're going to need... It's 20 to make 1. That means we're going to need 200 again. Then we're going to need some extra anyway because we're going to need to make 10 more for ourselves. Because we're going to need to make a whole bunch of these for the sink that I want to set up. I want to set up um, what I'm going to call the trick sink or the kitchen sink. I'm going to basically overflow a lot of stuff into a line. And then I'm going to send that down to a sink. Now, And I'm going to make a sushi belt. Now... I was thinking off camera that I can't really sushi belt everything because really right now since I only have Mark II belts, I can only sink lines that will that when they're overflowing add up to no less than 120 per minute, right? Because if it's more than 120 per minute, I can't sink everything. So I'm thinking I can probably sink the one half and the other half on separate sinks. I don't really know because it might actually all work out because I think for reinforced iron plates, I'm only doing five per minute and rotors is like four per minute. Well, that's only nine. That doesn't take up a lot of the belt. So if everything else is under 110, then I can sink everything onto one belt, put it into one sink. Um, it's going to be a different sink than my trash can just because I don't want to sink. Oh, wait, no. I could sink toward the box and then sink it into one sink. That'll work. And then I can throw things in the trash can still. As long as it's under 120, it'll still actually eat the trash in the trash can. All right, so I'm going to get... I'm going to wait till I have 400 of these, and we'll go back to base, because there's nothing else here for us to do, really. Um, and I'll meet you back in a second. I'll meet you at base. So I'm back at base here, and I'm just about done making all the all 20 of the AI limiters. There I am. I'm done. And I only have 50 cover sheets. I have to remember that. Um, I also picked up that hard drive on the way back that just required one quick, quick wire. That was super easy. It was on the way, so I just grabbed it. Let's get Smart Splitter real quick. 
Oh, I need more reinforced iron plates. Um, so let's go get those, actually. Hopefully we have tons of them. Yeah, we pretty much have tons. Let's get, like, a, n a refill here, kind of. We probably need, I don't know, about that many-ish. Because we're about to use 50 of them. Uh, and then we're going to be building that sink. We're going to need more reinforced iron plate to make the Tier 2 stuff, right? All right, cool. Smart splitter. We're going to have to check that off, dude, because this is pretty cool. Bam! And then I'm going to stick another hard drive in here. Let's just keep it moving, man. Let's just keep it working. New building unlocked. All right, sweet. Yeah, smart splitter, we know. Uh, so let's get that checked off. Very, very cool. Moving pretty quickly, and I think we've only done, used up about 20 minutes of footage. I'm not exactly sure, because I've had about 20 minutes of off-camera time almost, or something like that. Okay, so what we want to do, which is going to be a little bit unfortunate for this line right here, because we're going to sink into here, into a box, and then sink into this guy. So that probably means I'm going to need to move all this stuff. So let's move all that. I'm glad that nothing was in there. Let's just kind of move this so I can turn him. Let's do that. Oh, he's already turned. Cool. Let's let's do uh, like uh, like that. Cool. Okay, so that's where we need to put it in. Let's hook him back up. Now we're going to have constant tickets, right? We're going to have a constant flow of tickets. We're probably going to have to put this up on a second level. Which means it's going to have to go probably in the middle right over here. Right? So, we're going to have to split these guys. We're going to have to do... Uh, let's see. We're going to have to do splitter, smart splitter. And then aim it at the belt. And then put it down. This is basically the same as we did the other builds. This guy is only like 15 per minute. So this guy's like nothing almost. Um, we want to take this guy out this direction. Well, right down there. That's perfect. We're going to say, okay, in the center, any. But on the left, we're going to go overflow. Which he should be overflowing already because he has a lot of extra. But we're going to have to send that guy up, right? Because this guy is going to be on floor two. We don't want to have it any higher than floor two because then it won't be able to go back down into the sink there. So let's get um, a merger too high right here. Ooh, where's, a, where's a splitter? Um, well, I guess I can just go to a hot bar. Uh, there we go. Six merge. And, okay, he's in line there. Now we just want to put it like... Well, we really want to in line with the splitter. That's actually perfect with the sink right there. Right? That's perfect. And it's going in. Okay, so the out should be there. Yes, the out is, is the exact direction I want it. Perfect. So now let's just get this guy literally into there. Am I in the way? Yeah, player's in the way. Okay, cool. We got one line. Okay, great. These lines are going to be a little bit different because they're already feeding something. So I'm really curious as to how we're going to do this one, that's for sure. Um, I can't send it that way unless I merge it right. It won't work. Ooh, I can merge it right here because this is only going to be... 50 per minute, so that's 75 per minute. We can merge it right here. This would be kind of neat. Okay, let's do a double merge, and we'll turn that into a smart splitter. Right, so we're going to do it, have it go out that direction, right like that. Then we're going to remove this, and we'll just do this conveyor smart splitter. Actually, let's, let's take this off. Shouldn't have took that other piece off, but that's okay. Smart splitter. And aim at the belt. And line this guy up, right? Because we're going to have to go into the other thing right there. Alright, so we only need mark one belt right here. It doesn't want to go in. See, that, that kind of stinks. That's one thing that does... Let's just rip this out. We're going to have to rip this belt out. So, we got to do it this way. Smart splitter, all lined up perfectly. And input in the back. Tier 1 belt. Tier 1 belt. No, I need to do it in there. Yep, tier 1 belt to that. Tier 1 belt to this guy. There we go. And then we're going to do a tier 1 belt to this from this guy to that guy. It's not going to make it. Again, we're going to have to just take this out and do it the manual way here. 
and that's that'll be fine. Smart splitter. Yep, input in the back. Tier one. Uh, let's not do that one yet. Let's do it right here first. Actually, oh, that's right on the container. Is it gonna work? I don't think so. It doesn't like that. Let's move all these back. Apparently, it doesn't like any of these. We have more space, so this should be okay. Conveyor splitter. Merger. Yeah, out the front right there. And now we need to do smart splitter. Input in the back and line everybody up. Ooh, that's... Oh. These things are so weird. Okay, merger. Where's the output? Okay, boom. That's... Sh well, I'm not going to say it should work. I, I hope it works. Let's put it that way. I hope this works. Okay, that one works. That one works. Good. That works. It looks like everything's trying to work, at least. <laughs> All right, now I have more space to put it in the box again. That's good. This one is already there. Let's, let's remove that, because I don't think it's going to work anymore. Okay, good. And then this guy is going that way. And then now we're going to say center... Any undefined left, any undefined because we're we're working that build. This is going to be overflow, and same here. We're going to center is any undefined left is overflow. It's slightly different for this one. Now this is a sushi belt with overflow, and it's only sixty-five per minute. What's this guy doing? Yeah, sixty-five per minute. Not much at all. But now we have to get this other build back in. So let's get this guy back in. And let's just merge it up like that, and bam, we're good. Okay, so that guy's feeding that guy again. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to connect rotors, which is right there. I don't think we're going to be able to hit that merger. We might have to go down here a little ways and merge in. Smart split this way and then merge in, but we're going to have to go up. It's not going to want to do that. Can I just go straight into here? Can it, will it do that? It will, but we can't put a splitter on it then. Hmm, well, maybe we could turn the box. That's going to be really jank, but it'll work. All right, we're going to turn this box. Because I want this to all be on one. That would be way better, you know? So why don't we do it like that? And we'll do it like this. And then I think this is actually just going to split and then go into an another merger right here. Let's line this guy up. He's going out this way, and we want to make sure that th we're going to put it where the splitter would be. The splitter is going to be about right there. Why isn't it? Why isn't it lining up anymore? There we go. Yeah, the, it's going to be all right there. Okay, so we got that merger in now. Now we just need a splitter, but it's smart. Well, this one's just a splitter. Actually, it's not even... Mm, it's actually off this guy. So all we have to do is move the box up. Because we got to split off of what's coming out of the machine. Let's make sure we're on the center line of the machine here. And uh, I can put a... You know, we should put the, mer the splitter in first. Let's put the splitter in first. Input in the back. Uh, let's, let's actually hook it up. There we go. Okay, now we know it works. Then we'll put the box in. Loving it. That looks okay. Not great, but okay. Again, this is just a jank factory. It's not supposed to be all special or anything. Now, this guy is going to line up with this. And it's just going to go straight in. We're just going to literally do that. That's totally fine. Okay. Center, any, left, overflow. Which will not happen for a long, long time. Maybe never. <laughs> we'll just need one of these. Oh, good. We're making a lot more rotors now. Or we're not using them. It's possibly what it is. Okay, let's hook this guy to that guy now. This is going to be our sink line, right? Now, we don't. we're going to have to have another merger right here. It's going to have to line up with this. Actually, no. It's got to go over here. Right? So why don't we put... 
why don't we do both of these and another merger here? I really liked that style. It really worked well. Is that in the middle? Because it says it is sometimes and it's not. All right, that works. So we're going to merge this. And we're going to put a smart splitter here. All right? We want the input to be in the back. It's just like the other side, basically. Wrong. There we go. And then we want it that way. And we want this way. And then we want to put it just back into there. Then we want the box to stick out from here in line. That doesn't look like it. Okay, it's in line there. Is it in line with... Oh, it's in line with the other box. That's good. Let's put all this back and take... I don't know. Four? Four is probably right. And then we just need to connect this and configure this guy. Uh, overflow is actually on the right this time. And now all the overflow should be going into this guy and now we just need to hook him in. Like, literally, we've got everything we need. Everybody... Well, no, this guy's not being sunk. Oh, we can use that right there. Perfect. What we do... Hmm, this is going to be weird. This is going to be not very fun. We can merge this back further. And then we've got to split... Well, wait, if we take it off of this side, can we even do that? Probably not, because look, it's kind of in the way. I, can I turn it? Let's see if we can turn this belt. Belt. Yeah, okay, and then I can go up to a merger, I, th I think. Which means we got to replace this guy. He needs to be a smart splitter. He is not a smart splitter. He's just a regular splitter. Well, let's make him smart. He is now very smart. And therefore, he will work very well. Alright, now let's get this hooked back up. We don't need this anymore. We want to get this uh, build hooked back up. There we go. Make, make us tons of those. And then we will also get this going. And let's get something down here so that we know where it needs to be. It needs to be basically on this line right here. So we need another merger, but on this line, there we go, and lined up with the sink. And really the one we care about is up here. Taking that one out. Oh, that's not in line. Let's try it again. Yeah, there we go, now it's in line. Uh, export, yeah, that way, okay, cool. Now we send the belt. We're gonna need possibly Mark II belt now. I don't think so, but Let's just, let's just do it. No, you're going the wrong way. Two into here. And then we're going to sink it, right? I don't have a garbage can, though. There's no can. Oh, I know what I can do. Let's do another merger right here. So my garbage can will merge and send it to the sink. And uh, I can do both. There we go. Something like that will probably work. Mark two belt down to here. Mark two, two belt in, obviously. Mark two belt, seriously? No, mark two belt. <laughs> Whoa, wait! Dude, can you do that? Oh my god, you can. That's cool! I mean, it looks funky, but cool. I'm not gonna do that, guys, don't worry. <laughs> They're like, no, please don't! Uh, it doesn't line up. It doesn't line up. All that work, and it doesn't line up even though it said it did. Well, interesting. Okay, well, this is the one that has to line up. Okay. Well, I, can I actually do this? Yeah, now does this line up? It should. Okay. Ooh, man, jeez. Problem here. All right, we need one more of these. Because the box is going to stick off, and I don't want to do that if I, if I can help it. Let's put my trash can back in. Great. 4E. We want this thing to be maxed. Cool, because we have actually stuff to put in here. Alright, let's put all that junk in there. I don't need that. Um, two copper wire, or quick wire, I don't really need. It's just going to take up inventory space for now. Hey, we only have five AL amateurs now. We need ten. Oh, because we used a bunch. I'll probably make some more of those off-camera. Sweet, so I got our sink in. 
Now we're syncing lots of different product on the sushi belt here. And I don't have to hand feed it and all that stuff. And let me see if I can get up there so look, you can see. Cool. First sushi belt. I don't really like sushi belts, but this one will be fine because it's not going to, it's never going to be over the limit. I just don't want my systems to back up. And a lot of times sushi belts can back up. Like if one system backs up, the whole thing backs up. Um, I, that's what I don't want. That happens a lot in other games. Now, our, why is this not running? Oh, because we didn't set this up. Okay, let's let's set this up. Any undefined, and then left is any undefined, and overflow is on the right. Which will almost never happen. Maybe a little bit. Cool. We're sinking. We're in sync. All right, there we go. Now we're going to get actually some tickets while we do crap off camera. All right, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. So we probably have about half an hour left, I'm thinking. Something like that. Now we need to build the smeltery, but we're not really ready to do that. I kind of wanted to... I'm live streaming tonight, so I'll be doing a lot of um, building, the off-camera type building and everything, beautification, stuff like that. And I kind of wanted to get part of the train foundation laid in first so that um, when I build the smeltery, I already have a lot of, of what I want to do ready. Um, so I think we're going to wait for that. Ooh, wet concrete. I wanted this. This is what I wanted because... It makes concrete a lot easier to make. It's much faster. You get way more concrete out of literal, uh, less limestone. You just add water. It's not that big a deal. Just add water. Uh, it's not that big a deal. So we're going to get wet concrete. That's awesome. We're going to keep going with this. We only have one drive left. We need to get more. I need to get some more off camera. Now that I have quick wire, I can get a few more of them. AI limiters, same thing. There's a couple that use AI limiters. Let's actually duplicate this um, concrete box because I know that when I start building that train line, I'm going to have a couple of train lines. I have an idea for how I want to do it. Um, it's going to be ruthless. Actually, what we can do, if we turn this around, we can make double box. That's what we should do. Why don't we turn this around? So what we're going to do is just literally flip this. Well, why, wait, 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 wait. Now there's more. Um, <laughs> again, let's make this go all the way down. Right? Right? And then what we'll do is put it into a box down here and just at least super simple. Super, super easy. This guy's got a bunch in it, right? I need to turn this guy around. So let's build a box here and move stuff. We're going to need two boxes because I need to store things. Um, we'll store the concrete. Actually, let's put the my stuff down here. We'll put the other concrete over here. We actually need to move this, so let's just grab it. There we go. Now I can build another box right here. But I think first, let's put um, all the mergers and splitters in and stuff. This is going to be a merger, but it's going to go out this direction because we're about to send it straight into the box, right? This is a merger, but now it's going to feed this other merger. So I kind of reversed the flow of this thing. And now we're going to need Mark II belts on all these. Well, not that guy. Let's just do it to this guy. Because why not? Right? Okay, that guy's hooked up. That's perfect. And now we're going to want a box right here. I don't want it in the middle. That looks nice. That's probably too close. So probably right there. That's good enough. Oh, I don't have concrete? Interesting. Interesting. Oops. Oh, no, that has the concrete in it, right? No, the other one does. Okay, perfect. Nope. Belt. Nope. It's weird how it does that. It's just so strange. What is it doing? Hook up to this. Conveyor belt. Hook up to the box. Oh, is it backward? It always gets me. That always gets me, man. It's, it's going to get me until the day I die. All right, there we go. And now let's store a box with my stuff in it again. And then we will pick this up and put them back down because we have two of these. Till we can get an industrial box, which I think is just steel. We'll do it like this. 
There we go. Now we have double the, the, the space here. And it should just flow straight through. Yeah, that's probably all the concrete or something. Oh, I have it all on me. Alright, so let's fill this box, because uh, we're good there. And then pick all my stuff up. Cool. Alright, good. Now we have a bunch of space. Now I can build a huge amount of um, that train area. And I have a couple ideas for how I want to do it. How I exactly want the foundation to kind of work. It's going to be kind of a pain, but that's okay. It's worth it. Again, the train system's going to be in my Let's Play the whole time. Literally the whole time. So... Um, I'm not really worried about it. Now, these guys are not getting sunk. I probably should sink these, too. They're just sitting here. I have lots of power, and they're not sinking. So, why don't we add that? Since we're not going to start on the smeltery this time, why don't we add another sink? Why am I running all the way over here to copy a sink? I can just copy it on my bar. Alright, so what we're going to do is sushi belt with these guys, too, because I don't think they do 120 a minute. But we're going to need smart, smart splitters. That's concrete. I could probably sink concrete too, but it's probably got such a low value. It's probably not that worth it. Worth it. All right. So this has got this guy is actually going to need smart splitters too. But we're going to need smart splitters over here. So we're actually have to dump everything in these boxes. It's okay. Bear with me. Again, I have to do it like this, and then like this somehow. Can I turn it sideways, please? No. No. No, you can't do that. <laughs> no, why would you be able to do that? Jeez. I don't know what I need. I'll just take some of that stuff. Gee, why would, Why do you think I would let you do that? Gank, the game says. No, this is not a fun game. This is a crap game. This is a game you're not supposed to like. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, and I'm just playing around, by the way. Uh, okay, so let's do... Let's do a sushi belt, right? Because we're doing 22 on this guy, and I don't know what this is, like 37, so definitely can sushi this. Which means we need to sushi it probably... Mmm, don't do that. We need another box. Can I put one... I thought I saw I could put one right here. Oh, bam, there we go. Can I actually... Ooh, uh, yeah, I can pick these up. Alright, so let's pick this up as well. So we're just doing a lot of sinking stuff, and like also expanding the the uh, the uh, concrete, dude. Okay, a merger there. I don't know if we can do any smart splitters. We might have to make. Oh, okay. I gotta pick up my stuff. All right. This is gonna almost run me out of AI limiters, though. So I gotta be really careful. All right, one there, one here. Cool. Now we should be able to do this. Well, really, it's just mark one in because we're doing such little, you know, items for a minute or whatever. Same with that. It doesn't really matter. Except we're going to do um, all your regular stuff there. And for this one, right is overflow and the other way around for this guy. And then left is overflow. And then overflow is going to be in a sink. But let's put boxes back in. And then we'll do the sink, because the sink's going to have to stick out, actually, way out here. Which means we're going to have to cut that rock down, or that tree. The sink is going to be right there. Let me see if I can cut this tree down real fast. No, you have to take everything out first. <laughs> Damn it. All right, here we go. Do it. Destroy. Nice. Destruction happened. It worked. Successful. Destruction successful. Let's put... I don't know. This is probably put this back on. It's probably a good call. Nope. I want to do that. Okay. Sink is going to go there. Cool. Great. Everybody's happy. Everybody loves that. Uh, where's the... There we go. Um, That's probably okay. Uh, That's good. It's the same as the other side. And then, why don't we get a little bit of extra foundation right here, just so I don't fall off when we're trying to run around. Maybe another ramp. Cool. Okay, let's get this guy hooked in. But before we do that, let's actually pick one of these up. 
So I gotta put all my stuff in here. Now that is this guy. Let's fill him. Cause this, stu this stuff's gonna start sinking almost right away. So I wanna fill these boxes. I don't wanna have any overflow. Okay, there we go. Cool. I, I want I want to have overflow. I don't want to have any extra left over once I put everything back in the box. Okay, so these guys are ready. He's like, hey, I want, I'm trying to produce here. What are you doing? Get out of my way. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to sink it, which would be, oh, cool. Pillars. Yes, yes, yes. Modern railing. Special? Yes, yeah, sink. No, really. Sink. I don't have all my stuff. Okay. All right, um, sink. But we need to have it. Floor is too steep. Is that? Oh, that's because the rock is there. Okay, well, what we can do then is put it back here. We'll just do it like this. Um, sink. Turn it this way. And I think we can do it like that. Which means probably going to want to put... Let's just fill this in. It's going to look better. There we go. Again, might as well do it on this side too. There we go. Now it looks a little bit better even though a lot of it's not used. Alright, let's get a belt here, which really only needs to be Mark 1, so we'll just make it a Mark 1 for now. Let's get this into the sink, and then we'll turn it on with power. Nice. It feels really good when you get, um coal power because you can like you have a lot more you can do with things so it should be getting items there we go and it's gonna go into the sink good we're running out of we're not sinking over there that's really odd oh we're at 180 per minute well now we're gonna go up because these these things especially the quartz crystals sink for a lot more so that's gonna help us out a lot sweet I don't know if we're at time or not, but we're pretty much done. I'm going to go check the uh, the master sink out. The kitchen sink. Kitchen sink. Uh, doing something. Not doing a lot. Just doing something here. And are we sinking plates yet? Not yet. Yeah. Oh, it's not connected. Oh, it's a good thing I saw that. All right. Let's, let's get it in there. There we go definitely plenty of space let's get those plates up there nice man nice one sink instead of 5,000 sinks one sink per product I mean one sink instead of one sink per product that's much nicer there we go and that shot way up because the quartz crystal stuff you just get more for that there now we'll be generating tickets when we're screwing around we're generating tons of tickets Trick sink is done. Let's go check the MAM because I think it completed the research. Nice. So this is the last of the doubling recipes. I'm not really sure I want that one. Steamed copper sheet. That's, I don't know. We'll just get this one. I still don't have pure iron ingot and I really want it. And now I need more hard drives. So I'm going to have to go out and get more hard drives. Anyway, this is going to be the end of episode six. Just kind of taking care of some administrative things after we put in the coal uh, plant, like getting more sinks set up so I can get tickets and stuff. We're up to 485 megawatts out of really 600. 600 is where we want to kind of add. So I might actually throw in an expansion to the coal plant pretty quick, but I think we can get away with building the smeltery before we increase the coal plant. And the coal plant now will be a lot easier to add to. It's much more simple. Just draw the pipes expand the, the plant and stick it in it's really simple we don't have to build a whole new building and all that stuff i'm going to try to make larger buildings instead of floors i'm going to try to expand horizontally because i think it's just going to be easier to keep up with and make larger factory modules instead of stacking them and making new floors and new walls and new ceilings all the time okay and then new logistics layers and all that stuff it's a lot more work so anyway, I will see you on the next one. I uh, hope to see you tonight on the live stream. Again, you won't see this for a couple days. I live stream every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific on Twitch. Check the video description for the link to that. And if you're new here, please click the subscribe and not bell notification so you don't know when I release these videos. Right now I'm doing them every day at 10 a.m. Pacific time is another satisfactory video. I'll see you on the next one. Stay frosty.